Welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. I'm Chantel. Thank you so much for being here. So the other day I went to Target. I was going in just for lip balm and a Diet Pepsi. And I did not come out with just lip balm and a Diet Pepsi. I did get those two items, but I kind of made a detour through the dollar spot and I did pick up some things there. I was not planning on doing a Target dollar spot haul, but I am going to do just a little mini haul and show you the things that I got. And then we are going to do some DIYs using those items. So I'm excited to show you what I got and what I create with them. So let's jump in and get started. The first thing that caught my eye and drew me into the dollar spot was this rotating uh, storage bin. It is uh, a nice size. It was $5 and I totally needed something like this because I have all of my crafting tools in these two little containers and they're overflowing and it's kind of a mess. So I was really happy to find this uh, storage container and I love that it has the dividers and then it rotates. I did decide to put my glass beads from this container in one of the sections to help hold up the smaller tools so that they were easier to see. So now before I jump into our DIYs, I have my tools all organized and this makes me very happy. So let me show you all the items I picked up and then we'll get crafting. I found this cute little set of three bud vases for $3. And this cute little shiplap house sign was also only $3 as was this chalkboard house sign. I guess I just really like the house shaped signs. They also had this reversible sign for only $3. It's a hanging chalkboard, but then it has this nice wood design with the little gold flowers on it and I just thought this was really pretty and only three dollars. And this was interesting. They call it a swivel board and they show it with a picture like using it like a charcuterie board but I think it would be cute to use um, in a centerpiece or just um, as decor so I will be doing something with that. And this was five dollars. I also picked up this set of colored glass jars. They had them in this, this color combination and then also a blue and a green, I believe, and these were $3. I found this uh, set of activity dice. It was $3 and they're just these foam dice with different actions or movements on them and then time frame so that when you roll them, you know, they can um, hop like a bunny for 30 seconds. But I thought this was just a cute way uh, to get kids up and moving and to make a game out of it. Okay, for our first DIY, I'm going to be using the little shiplap house. I'm going to start by painting the back using some chalk paint in just an off-white color. This one is called chiffon cream. I picked it up at Walmart and I'm going to give the back of this two coats just so that it looks nice and finished. If you were going to hang this on the wall, it wouldn't be quite as important to paint the back, but since I am actually uh, making it so that it's going to sit on a shelf or a table, I wanted the back to be finished. Next, I'm going to take some brown chalk paint. This is the color Truffle by Waverly. I'm going to use a dry brush and just lightly go over the white part in the center because it is pretty stark white. I want to kind of make that look a little bit more aged. So I'm just giving it some uh, dry brushing and then I'm also going along the frame dry brushing that just to darken it up a little bit. Next, I am going to add the word welcome to mine. This is a sticker that I also got at Target uh, and this was out during the fall time, so it's just one I had in my stash. You could use something from 
uh, the Dollar Tree or uh, cut something out on your Cricut. And then I'm also going to be using this little uh, small grapevine wreath that I also just had in my stash. I'm going to use a little hot glue and just glue that little wreath up at the top of the house. This is going to make this look more like a birdhouse. Next I'm going to be adding this strand of lights with these little leaves on them. I got this at Dollar Tree. Uh, they carry them periodically. I'm going to add the battery pack to the back of the house at the very bottom so that it actually makes the house so that it will stand up. And I'm going to just glue that on using some hot glue. And I am making sure that the bottom of the battery pack is flush with the bottom of the house so that it sits nice and flat. I'm going to secure the wire where the leaves start right at the corner of the house. And then I am going to kind of wind the vine uh, up and around the house. So uh, I'm just... Uh, making it look like it's just kind of growing wild up around the house and I'm going to secure it with a little glue in a couple of places just to hold it. If you aren't able to find these lights you could use something else like these berry garlands that Dollar Tree carries or just some other greenery. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of Spanish moss. You can get this at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just taking a tiny amount and gluing it into the bottom of that little grapevine wreath. I want to take just a minute and tell you all thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel and you like Dollar Tree DIYs and DIYs on a budget, I do a lot of that here on this channel. So be sure that you are subscribed and don't forget to hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button and set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. Next, we're going to dress up this set of three bud vases. And like I said, these were $3 for the set, and so I think that's a really good deal. And they are just cute little shapes. So I am going to um, add some embellishment to these in a really simple way. I'm going to be using these gold rub-on transfers from the Crafter's Square section in Dollar Tree. And if you wanted to make them a little more farmhouse looking, you could use this style or even uh, some of these words uh, that I have seen uh, there before. So any of the rub-on transfers will work great for this project. I just decided which parts of the transfer sheet I wanted to use for my vases and then cut out around those designs. going to take my rub-on transfer and peel off the back and then position it on my little vase. Now you only get one shot at this because as soon as it touches the vase it wants to stick and if you try to pull it up it is already going to be stuck. This is kind of like gold foil um, or gold leaf I guess is, is kind of what it's like. And so you can see here, I accidentally dropped it on my desk and it literally stuck to the desk and I had to scrape it off. But thankfully, I did have uh, extra design on this sheet, uh, the same one that I wanted to use. So I was able to cut that out. But uh, you just have to be uh, very careful, get it positioned where you want the first time and don't drop it on your desk. 
So once I had my design positioned on my vase, I rubbed it with my finger and then I went over it again with my little uh, Cricut scraper just to make sure that it was uh, stuck down and then you just peel the paper off and it leaves a the design stuck to your little vases and I think these turned out so cute. I just did a different design on each vase and I love how the set turned out. And here's where I decided to use that little swivel board or swivel tray. I think this makes a great stand for this little set of vases and then I just added some flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and I really love how this looks. Next I'm going to be dressing up this reversible chalkboard sign. And to make this a really easy project, I decided to keep the finishes the way they are. I like the wood grain. I like the gold flowers because they're pretty subtle and so I'm going to leave that and I am going to be adding uh, one of these metal words from Dollar Tree in the Easter section. These come in a pack of three words. They have the word bunny, welcome, and spring and you could do a combination of like welcome spring on the sign but I did decide just to go with the word welcome so that I could change it up for different seasons if I wanted to. And I wanted my word to be darker so I am painting it with this Rust-Oleum oil rubbed bronze spray paint. I'm also going to paint the edges of my sign using this truffle colored chalk paint by Waverly. It is the perfect color. It matches the oil rub bronze that I painted that word in. And this will just finish it off because the edges of the sign look a little bit unfinished. And I did try to pay attention as I was going around to make sure that I wasn't getting paint on the chalkboard side or the wood side and if I did get a little bit on there I just wiped it off with a damp paper towel or you could use a wet wipe to clean this up as well. I did decide to replace the hanger that was on the sign just because this one was so short so I'm using jute twine and just replacing it and making it longer. And now I'm going to attach my welcome word to my wood side of the sign. I'm going to do this using some E6000 and then I'll also put a little bit of hot glue on it just to hold it on so that I can keep working on my project while that E6000 dries. So I'm not going to do too much to my chalkboard sign. I'm just using a chalk marker and I am going around uh, the edge just doing kind of a little dotted line uh, just to uh, give it a border. You could add any type of design you want or you could just leave it plain. Since this is a reversible sign, I didn't want to glue any embellishments to either side because then it would not hang properly. Uh, so I came up with a way to uh, be able to add these florals and bow and still make it reversible. So I made a bow with some Dollar Tree ribbon and then I'm just using this lamb's ear from Walmart and I am placing oh, one in each direction behind the bow. I'm using just a chenille stem, a pipe cleaner to twist around that and then I'm going to use that pipe cleaner to twist around the hanger on my sign and that's how I will attach it and uh, it's not glued at all but this way I can actually flip the bow and the greenery around to the opposite side if I want to use like the chalkboard sign I can just 
flip it around and so uh, this makes it very versatile and uh, I can even change this out to go with the different seasons or holidays. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And also let me know in the comments which of these projects is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.